Do you know what's more confusing than my girlfriend? Shakespeare. Now for those of you who don't know who Shakespeare is, Shakespeare was a bald ass motherfucker who wrote a lot of crazy shit. Like this dude, <laughs> I think so he's been taking crack from <laughs> Snoop Dogg or something. But let me show you a brief example, a brief explanation to why I think this way. Suck my dick, you ain't shit, you ain't shit, uh Suck my dick, you ain't shit, you ain't shit, uh Suck my dick Grace Newell took the motherfucking time machine again I wish I could get some bitches Wait, who the fuck are you? Sup Shakespeare, hit this blood really quick, it will make you hike as a kite main. I should take die blood. As a test. <laughs> oh shit! I feel like writing a romance book. So the story of Romeo and Juliet goes like this. Two families have been fighting for decades because one of them was a Twitter user. So our protagonist Romeo has always been kind of a loner and his homie just came up and said Hey yo fam, you gotta get some bitches, you know what I'm saying? Romeo goes to this party and sees a girl that's dancing and Romeo thought to himself Damn, that a fat ass So she fakes her own death to get away from her family but Romeo doesn't know about it So when Romeo goes to Juliet's coffin Seeing her wider than Michael Jackson, he got so depressed that he took poison and drank it. But then Juliet wakes up and sees Romeo being dead on the floor, so she decides to stab herself. Hey, yo, what the f? There is another story, but I didn't have time to fit it in this video. Comment down below if you want to hear a story about a forced romance with some fairy bullshit that has a donkey and it has a fucking manga. <laughs>